could actually look at this tune as being in one of two time signatures, or if you want, you can look at it as being in both. One way of looking at it is that it's in 4-4. Four, four. We're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. In that case, it's easy to explain and easy to see the beats. It's a simpler way of explaining it, which probably makes it better, especially for trying to understand the tune intellectually. So we're gonna calculate all of the components of the tune by looking at it in a 4-4 time signature because it's easier. For one, the bass drum or the kick drum is on beats one and three, okay? So you have bass, snare, bass, snare. That's bass on one and three, snare on two and four. Bass on one and three, snare on two and four, okay? So that's what's happening with the strongest beats in the measure, okay? Now, the tinier subdivisions on the drum machine are going to be the hi-hat. The hi-hat is counting triplets between each beat. So it's one, da, da, two, da, da, three, da, da, four, da, da, one, da, da, two, da, da, three, da, da, four, da, da. Now, in order to internalize this, I feel like that you can co compute it internally, feeling it sort of in your chest in a way, not just calculating it in your head and seeing the components, it is a good idea to think of it in 12-8. So counting a 12-8 time signature is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. As you can see, there's four subdivisions of three in that particular time signature, which makes it compute very well with a 4-4 time signature. So now let's get on to actually hearing the metronome or the drum machine. Again, we're using the pro metronome here. And let's focus just on hearing the bass. Actually, let's focus on hearing the snare drum. So we're gonna count the bass, one and three. So I'm gonna say one, three, okay? And you're gonna hear the snare drum pop out. All right, here we go. So bass, counting the bass notes or the bass drum notes. One, three, one, three. Okay, cool. So now let's count the snare drum notes so we can hear the bass drum kind of pop out in the mix. Here we go. Two. Four, two, four, two, four. Now let's count a 12 8 time signature along with the hi hat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now that we've broken down Red House and looked at it from the perspective of a 12 8 time signature, we've counted through it, gotten good at that. Let's now break it back to 4 4 and look at it from a swing perspective. All swing music has a triplet feel to it. We're just leaving out the middle eighth note in the triplet. You'll see a symbol like this when you're reading music for swing music. Even if you're not a music reader, considering this symbol is a good idea because it gives you insight into what's happening with the swing. So instead of having the triplet feel of one da da two da da three da da four da da or one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we're gonna bring in the swing feel we're gonna leave out the middle eighth note and play just the downbeat or the strong beat of one two three four and the last triplet so in order to do that and count it efficiently it is much easier to bring it back to a 4-4 time signature and say the word and. Okay, so we're gonna count in a 4-4 time signature and use the word and. So let's investigate what this tune would sound like if the and was actually straight time or if the eighth notes were evenly distributed and we weren't using a triplet feel at all. This is what it would sound like. Straight time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 
So that's the straight time. That's with the eighth note falling directly between each beat. Now let's distribute the eighth note back to the triplets that we have in swing feel and count and play it saying and with the swing triplet feel. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. There's a big difference between straight time and swing time. Let's do one more example where they're closer together. Here's straight time. One and two and three and four. And here's swing time. One, and two, and three, and four, and. We've looked at the rhythm from Red House in so many different perspectives. It's fantastic. I like to use examples like this with my students. So if you had a hot cup and the only thing you knew you could do was grab this cup around here with the hot liquid inside, you're probably gonna get burned by that liquid. It's gonna be difficult to hold it. You're gonna have to be very tender. But if you turn the cup to the side, oh, now you can see that it has a handle and you're able to hold the handle and hold the cup without burning your hand. That is why we look at rhythm and music from as many different perspectives as we possibly can. We wanna be able to understand it from all different angles so that when we participate with it, our insights and our musical abilities have a little more depth and a little bit more musical quality to them. Rhythm is the foundation of all musical thought. It is the most important thing to consider when you are playing any style of music, whether whether it be the blues, jazz, classical music, reggae, or rock and roll. All of these styles of music have a certain quality to them that is definable by their basic rhythmic feels and time. It is so important to get into that and to dig into it as much as you possibly can. When I was a kid and I was younger, I had a friend who I played with whose rhythm was much better than mine. I thought that my rhythm was bad. I still think that my rhythm is not as good as it could be and that there is always room to grow. So I used to do things and still will participate with music and practice away from my instrument by playing air drums on the surface of various objects. Maybe my legs, maybe the steering wheel column while I'm driving down the road. Watch out out there. So, you know, it is easy to practice rhythm and to participate with it away from your instrument. I think it's a great idea to actively be engaged with music. Don't passively listen. Put down the Nintendo gaming system, put down your phone, and actually listen to the music and beat along with the rhythms. Participate and get deeply into what is making that music move and what is inspiring the musicians to play so wonderfully. I guarantee you that at its core is the rhythmic feel of that particular tune. Have fun and enjoy what you do. As always, I look forward to hearing you all playing your instruments very, very soon. A quick setup for Pro Metronome for Red House by Jimi Hendrix. All right, so let's open up the Pro Metronome app. We're gonna go over here to the tools and you're gonna make sure that your tone settings are to 12. Okay, you are going to need to update to make the drum machine have the correct subdivision. Okay, now that we are on the tools and the tone is 12, let's go down to our time signature thing here and make sure that it's at 4-4. It is indeed at 4-4. Now, originally when you get the app, it's gonna be set up with the quarter note. You want to set it over here to the hi-hat as being triplets or the subdivision being triplets. Okay, so now we have beats one, two, three, and four. On beat one, it's a full block, which is a bass or kick drum. Uh, on beat two, we have one block missing, turning it into a snare. Beat three is a kick, and beat four is a snare. This is our subdivision. We have triplets sh subdivision. Jimi Hendrix, when I just timed it, it seems like it was around 67, so I'm going to go to 65 just to make it, because I like even like subdivisions of fives and ten. <laughs> All right, so let's hear it and see what it sounds like. Okay. There's a red house over yonder. That's where my baby stays. Okay. 
testing it with the lyrics and singing, it sounds about right. Let's get on to the next step. 